Yeah. Um, how can the consumer, so if we stop talking about businesses, but we talk about consumers now, mm. if we, how can a consumer make a complaint if they see, they think that they've seen a greenwash, sorry, a company greenwashing? Well, they can go to, you mentioned the ASA, the Advertising Standards Authority, they can go to the ASA directly, uh, as, as many as many people uh, do about all sorts of things, not just about green claims, but you know, if they get offended by an ad or anything like that. So there's there's go to the ASA. There's, you can go to the Competitions and Markets Authority. They have a, a, a link online. When you go to their website, you can see, make a complaint. They make it really easy for people to, to, to share their complaints. Um, you can, there's also, organizations um, like greenwash.com um, which is a um, which is a, a, a NGO which is again supporting people consumers to have the right advice and understand what they can do and can't do and uh, about making claims there are also little kind of guerrilla um, accounts and things out there and, and, and kind of activist accounts out there on Instagram and other uh, platforms across social media who were calling out greenwashing and who were encouraging others to also call out greenwashing and kind of giving instruction. So I think there's one called Greenwash My Balls and uh, all sorts of, you know, there's there's a few of them. And these are these are kind of little, but we say that but they've got, you know, thousands and hundreds of thousands of followers that that are that are kind of supporting people in in actually saying well if you're not happy about it do something about it so so there is the wisdom or the impact of the crowd that is also being so there are these formal formal ways that you can go to formal avenues um and then of course you you may be uh influenced by one of these less formal but they are giving you then the right trajectory of where to go to 